Hey guys, this is Ryan123 here, and I don't know if you can tell by this GUI on the side, but today we are making a shop GUI. So, um, as you can see, this is just one button, and it only buys one thing, but if you want, you can check out my Character Mesh Morph GUI tutorial, and in there you can basically learn how to do the whole panel um, open-close button thing for it. So otherwise let's just get started in the button so really the only things you're gonna need is the tutorial leaderboard from last time like we did with the shop button and you're going to need a screen GUI with a text button with a script and with a text button inside it um, this text button is basically the same thing as it was for the freaking Norton. Never get Norton, guys. It sucks. Um, I can never find the visible variable. Where is it? Where the heck's the visible variable? Whatever. Basically, it just stretches across the screen and it says button. Um, so here's the script. Let me center this maybe there we go um, so I'm just going to go over it I'm not going to retype this because that would take hours and I kind of want to get this done fairly quickly so that we all can move on but anyways local player equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent this just gets the player because the way the players are set up it's like um, so there's the script there's the text button there's the screen GUI there's the player GUI and then there's the player and then I don't know why but I just get the players name for some reason so the next thing is we're going to call this click function as soon as the button is clicked by using this down here script dot parent dot mouse button one down semicolon connect and then call the clicked function um, and basically almost the rest of the script is just the same so there's the cost um, right there just a variable the weapon where game put it in lighting or wherever else you just have to change it um, get their leader stats by finding the leader stats child inside the player and then you get their money by looking for the money um, integer value inside of the leader stats um, then this one this variable gets the text button inside of the screen or the other text button along with the script so it's just script dot parent dot text button as you can see here it's just right next to underneath it um, then we have the where the actual work happens so if the player has enough money so if their money is greater than the cost then subtract the cost from their money clone the weapon put it into the starter gear and the backpack make the message visible change the messages text you can delete or add these lines as you feel feel fit um, whatever you want the message to say um, and then this else is if they don't have enough money and it just says you don't have enough money um, and and blah 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 I can't remember but I'm pretty sure the shop button is actually a free model of mine so if you go to my Roblox page and look tr look for it don't quote me on this if it isn't there I'm sorry but if it is there, good for you. You can just kind of modify it a little bit and put the script in the right place and everything. But anyways, guys, I hope that made sense. Um, don't leave yet because we, I still have something I need to talk about. Um, first of all, thanks for watching. Secondly, um, a lot of you have been asking what output is. And it's basically this stuff down here. So when I test my game oh yeah I guess I should show you that this script works too so when I test my game all these red ones are errors which is what I would like to see um, with the uh, if you guys post a comment about not knowing how to do something I would like to see the output for example if I was having 
if this was on the welcome message one um, tutorial, you would say like, oh look, apparently, why is my tycoon script ending? Whatever. Um, but if this was the welcome message one, then we would, you would get like these things right here because that's where the error is being thrown. Um, so yeah, that's what output is. If you can't see the output, come up here to view and it's just right here. Just click on it and it will pop up at the bottom. Um, oh yeah, this works. See, click the button, says the stuff. Mine's not centered because I don't really care. And then you get the weapon. And then if I die, because we put it in the starter pack, we will still get the weapon when I respawn. So let's go ahead and stop that so it doesn't lag the crap out of me. Um, yeah, so that's the thing on the output. Second, I would also like to ask you guys, um, check before you ask a question, check the comments to see if somebody's asked it before. I'm getting tons of questions on the day-night tutorial on how you can slow the cycle down, which I think I mentioned both in the video and in the comments at least six times. And just, I don't know if any of you guys from the day night one will be watching this, but look, all you have to do is either make this number bigger or make this number smaller. I'm sorry if I sound a little agitated. I just don't really want to be spending all day answering the same question 20 times. Um, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video, I hope. I think I covered everything I'd like to. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for future tutorials and other game-related content. Please be sure to hit that like button if you found this helpful. And post a comment down below with any suggestions or errors you may have with the output. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.